She's a bit wet. She's a bit wet. So we were lucky enough. Well, we met this old buck on the walk going along the coast and um, we just said g'day and talking about the hike. And then she was walking south and we were walking north and then we did that extra bit. And then when we came back to the car park, she was actually sitting in the car and she's like, hey, do you want to lift back to the campsite? So like, hell yeah. So we didn't have to walk that extra 5Ks back, which is so good. But um, yeah, back to the campsite. It's fucking raining cats and dogs. But we've set up this little section here for fresh water. The tarp's filthy, so we were going to drink the water, but it's just covered in mold spurs. So we're not going to do that because we'll probably die. Um, but yeah, there's definitely no shortage of fresh water coming from the sky, which is nice. Uh, you can have fires here. I found a fire pit uh, in one of the campsites next to us. So I've dragged that over and I found some wood. You're not supposed to forage wood here. And I didn't, but I found some wood. So I'm just waiting for that to dry. And then I'll have a fire later on today. It'll be a little bit smoky just to get rid of these mozzies because there's bloody mozzies everywhere. Uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. We're going to make some toasties and then probably have a beer and play some banana grams. So the rain stopped for a bit. I am drenched, but how cool is this? Right next to our campsite is a bush lemon tree. So that's... Where's the little one? I had one before. Ah, there. See the little one there? And then... Oh, so many cobwebs in here. Yuck. Yeah, look. Thanks. Bush lemons. Should have bought coronas. It's pretty cool because if you're not from Australia, you may not know, but foraging off the land in Australia is really hard. They say you expel more calories trying to forage than what you can actually acquire. So there's like a lot of medicinal plants that the Aboriginal people have been using for a long time and there are sort of fruits and there is things you can, like little berries you can eat along the way, but generally, um, what was a big old bird up there? Yeah, um, generally you, um, yeah, you can't really forage that much off the land. Like in Canada, it looks like you can um, basically live off the land with the amount of fruits and vegetables and stuff that they have there. But yeah, it's cool to have a bush lemon tree at the back. So Jurassic here. These paper barks are incredible. It's so odd looking. I'd be interested to know why they grow like that. Oh, very impressed with this area though, this area. It's very cool. I've got an afternoon to kill. Okay, he's got some um, job applications to take care of. Oh, there's so much movement out here. Um, yes, I'm just gonna faff around and see what I can find. I'm actually going to try and find dry wood somehow. Hopefully there's like a big pile of it somewhere and I can grab the shit from underneath. Yeah, how's these? Oh, there's so many lemons. This tree's full. Very cool. Break a couple of these later. Thankfully the sun's popped out. Uh, we ended up staying for another night and thankfully we did because the weather's cleared up. And look at this. This is the one thing that I wanted to film before I left. It's like you know, the sun rays in the distance. It's one of the most incredible things that I've seen. That is 
probably a kilometer or two of just sand dunes. And there's currently no footsteps on there, so I'm gonna go for a walk all the way over there to the Pikes Point and take some photos. But yeah, it's been the best afternoon. So very, very stoked that we stayed. We ended up walking back into Hathead along the road and then um, had lunch and then came back along the coast the way we did yesterday that I filmed. Um, yeah, it's just, it's been the best weather today. So, so, and there's no one here still. Anyway, these sand dunes look so good. <laughs> I feel like a kid. So let's, uh, let's get to the top. Let's do some research because I feel like the dumbest asshole right now. I have no idea. This is so cool and it's so strange. And I just wish someone could just tell me the stories of what's going on here. This is such an incredible spot. I can't believe how many green tree frogs or whatever they're, they probably aren't called tree frogs because I'm an actual idiot. Green frogs and the little black guy. <laughs> I feel so bad trying to save him. I thought he was lost. I don't know frogs like to sleep in dunes. Look at this sunset. Oh my god. This area is ridiculous. I've got so much sand in my hair. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's just full of frogs. All croaking. Let's see if we can say good day to one. Those guys are sleeping. Are awake. Well, I don't know if I want to walk through there. It was very clearly stated that, that these lands have been walked for thousands of years. And, I mean, it's clear. It's a shame that the. Uh, It's a shame that there aren't people still walking around here, apart from tourists. I'm kind of gobsmacked as to how amazing this spot is. Wow. I'm going to do some research. I've had such an interest in Aboriginal history for, I mean, not long, like a year, last couple of years. 
and I try to read up as much as I can on areas that we go to and just understanding the history of the area and the relevance and what it's done for our country, etc. Not even that, just cool stories involved in, um, in the history of this country. And yeah, areas like this, I mean, there's another one over there that's covered in shells. There's just, there's three, there's a big one there, and then there's two further from there. So, did everyone used to just go peepee -pee hunting and then come here and smash peepees? Like, what's going on? Oh, that sounds amazing. And I wish that was still happening and I wish I was invited. Because I love peepees. They're delicious. Yeah. Amazing. What an amazing spot. I'm waffling out. There's another one. There's pippy shells everywhere. See? Look. Like sandblasted from just who knows how long. Fresh. Like rocks here. From maybe smashing them open or This spot is insanely cool. Oh, the sunset. Behind me. You're welcome. 